All right, friends, it's Tina. I'm back with a new video. It's on uh, Greg Doucette, the gym lifting, recruiting, fitness, gym gear, steroid slave himself. J uh, Greg Doucette. We're going to do a reaction video to Greg Doucette today. All right, Greg Doucette says, and he shouldn't be Jack's fit. No, uh, no longer natty. Jack fit is no longer natty. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Am I on NK677? So, um, yes. This is the first person that I've seen that, in my opinion, genuinely should be on performance-enhancing drugs. Wow. Greg is now promoting enhanced performing drugs. He's telling young people to take drugs. How about that? That's <laughs> okay. It's great. Okay. Coach Greg, and then today... So let me get this straight. Just because of his appearance, he should be on enhanced performing drugs, which are cosmetic, they're toxic, and they destroy you, and they're fake. You have to constantly keep taking them to create, to keep that fake cosmetic look because it's fake. Steroids don't build muscles. They're cosmetic. If they could build a muscle, if they could build a muscle then you wouldn't have to keep cycling. Video, we lost another one. Another natural decided to take performance enhancing drugs. And who is it? You're not gonna guess it. None other than Jack's fit. First it was yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about, I heard, I've heard this kid before on the internet. I've seen his channel. I don't really think much about him, but whatever. He could be, he could be, he could have a problem with insulin sensitivity or basically if I was him, I'd work out once a month and build muscle, get an adaptation and you'll grow. But he doesn't probably understand that bodybuilding is about getting an adaptation. And if you don't know how to get them, too bad. Sue Bank that decided to announce he's no longer lateral. And in today's video, it's Jack. Alex Eubank was never natural. And whether his muscles are sarcoplasmic, which is still unnatural, I really doubt he was ever natural. Now, again, if this guy just eats bags of potatoes and his muscles blow up with glycogen, is he, is he natural? No, it's artificial. So if it's artificial, it's fake. See what I mean? If it isn't based on getting real myofibular growth through an adaptation, it is fake, regardless whether you take drugs or not. Spit. Let's look at the comments. This is not made up. This is not make believe. MK677 before a yeah. 50 kg bench is wild. No. MK677. Okay, he's going to take some some weird uh, modulator, a drug, which is not as really is not a steroid. No way he's on MK. I thought that was a joke. What the F? He's actually on MK677. Crying face times three. Going not natty before hitting one plate on bench is wild. Please don't take drugs. Eat more. Well, that ship has sailed now, hasn't it? If anyone had some hope left for you, it's gone. MK677 before trying to be consistent. And so the feedback that he's getting after announcing he's no longer natural is people are against this. They think it's ridiculous. Well, yeah, everybody's going to be against something that's going to make him look better than them, of course. They're going to be against it. Hey, you know what I mean? But again, it's temporary, and I don't know. People do whatever they want to do out there. I'm not their boss. It makes no sense. They're thinking, why not keep training natural? You had many more gains left in the tank. Look, me personally, I'm just making a reaction to this video, okay? That's all I'm doing. And so, ah, hi there. Wait, I'm going to disagree with all of you. This is the first person that I've seen that, in my opinion, genuinely should be on performance enhancing drugs. Wow, Greg is actually pushing enhance. He's pushing illegal drugs that somebody take illegal drugs on YouTube, on the internet. And YouTube is not doing anything about this. This is, see, this is, this is the fact your government is pushing this, this agenda. Your government is pushing this, that you take these drugs and do all these things and exercise. So you destroy yourself slowly. That's what they want. They don't care. Yet they say it's illegal. Yet these guys are like, yeah, you should be taking drugs. <laughs> what? Illegal drugs. What? This is nuts.
And you're thinking, how could that be possible? The guy's, what, 18, 19 years of age? And you're all thinking, well, look how... Hold on a second. He's 18 or 19. He's still a young, a young uh, individual. You're going to say, look how skinny he is. Well, he's under, he looks kind of underdeveloped, and that could be partially because he eats an artificial diet. If he started eating a natural diet, then he possibly would come out of this for sure, yes. But he's eating a slave diet. What do you expect? Small. And he's not really doing very much. I don't know how long he's been lifting for now, right? When was it, a year or something? I, don't, I can't remember. He's been lifting for a while in the gym or something. He's been lifting. I don't know what he's lifting, how he's lifting. I can't really say for sure. If you're asking me for my recommendation, I would say he should lift periodically, very periodically, and he should focus on eating a natural diet. That's about it. The guy's frail. He doesn't even weigh 60 kilograms. Bro's 130 pounds over six feet tall. Why would he take steroids? But in comparison, when Chris Bumstead took- That's quite underweight steroids at the exact same age 18 years of age bro already looked like a full-grown adult with more muscle than last time and you're all thinking yeah but he's an ipv pro if you have a physique like chris bumstead do you actually need to take steroids or if you look like alex eubank you already have great god aesthetics why would you bother to take steroids but in jack spitz case He's actually frail. And if you type in his height and compare it to his weight, and you look at his BMI, he actually is classified as severely underweight. And so when I Yeah, he looks anorexic is what he looks like. He looks like an anorexic person. Okay. Uh, I don't know what he's eating. I don't know what he's doing. But if you're just asking me, for my opinion is he needs to be on a high-fat animal diet. That's it, bro raw natural diet and uh, if he wants to build up some of this muscle i would say he needs to live very very periodically and focus on eating that's it so he could get these adaptations so he could get some muscle growing actuality if he went to the doctor and they assessed him they would likely determine that there is in fact something wrong am i on nk677 i didn't um MK six seven seven is not gonna is not going to fix his his problem. <laughs> it's not the solution to his problem. That's for sure. It's not gonna work for him. I failed my fifty kg bench press. I've been locked in. I've been dialed in. I've been focused. And so Jack Fitty says he's dialed in. That he's locked in. The only guy that I know gonna be locked in is Mike Van Wick after going to prison for attacking and assaulting Jeff Nipper. Could you? When doctors decide if they're going to prescribe performance-enhancing drugs, for example, MK677, testosterone, IGF-1, and so on, they're trying to... Again, he has to stop eating artificial slave food, the slave diet that he's on, because most likely, if you're asking my opinion, again, it's my opinion, because I don't really know what he's doing. But I have a feeling he is eating a slave diet. What If he were to stop eating the slave diet, then... Yeah, his body would have a chance to grow for sure because there's something there going on. I think this is most likely insulin resistance. That's what it is, insulin resistance. Uh, but again, that's just my opinion, okay? I don't know. See if the risks outweigh the benefits. Is he going to get more benefits from taking these potential drugs than he is from not taking them? And if you look at the research on longevity, living longer than last time, qual those, those drugs don't build muscle. They just retain energy and turn over a protein and energy in your muscle. They'll actually start absorbing more energy. If you keep eating more of these artificial slave food diets, these carbohydrate slave food diets, then it'll grab more of that as energy and store it in the muscle. It'll be fake. Just like these steroid dudes. That's what it does. That's what steroids do. Of life, there's one because steroids are enhanced performing drugs. They enhance your performance. So if they enhance your performance, what's the energy source that's coming in that usually people eat to enhance their performance that they can keep performing better? Glycogen, that's right. And so that steroid or mk whatever 677 is most likely going to store glycogen in the muscle so they can enhance their performance they are not muscle building drugs because they would be called muscle building drugs 
They're called enhanced performing drugs for a reason. Get it? Because they enhance your performance. You, you start performing better in a gym by lifting heavier. Yay! Gives you more force production. It doesn't build muscles out of thin air. See what I mean? They don't build nuclei. They don't build myofibulars. They, synthes they can help synthesize protein, but you can't synthesize any more protein because, men, uh, they have a ceiling limit. <laughs> These uh, Hypertrophy has a ceiling limit beyond where the satellite cell can donate any more extra nuclei to support further muscle growth because... Without those nuclei, you can't synthesize any more protein, even though you've added more steroids. Get it? Thing that they all have in common. People who are very frail, extremely underweight, they don't live as long and they are less likely to survive if they get sick, injured, and so on, as people who are at a... Uh, okay, frail people are uh, most likely to not survive. Uh, okay, yeah. All right. Healthier body weight. People who have more strength and more size. Looking at his physique, does anyone think that his health is optimal? Now remember... His, he looks healthy. He just looks underdeveloped is what he looks like. A bit underdeveloped, not a lot. I'm not trying to thin shame him, but I'm telling you, when your BMI is below, for example, 18, it's not good. And so what Jack's Fit should be doing is, for example, getting his blood work done. And so, for example, I'm partnered with Transcend. Anyone that wants to see if they require that they need, that they could benefit from peptides, testosterone, and so on. Of course, Greg is going to push his agenda now, the drug agenda. Yeah. Yeah. They should be getting their blood work done by a medical professional, a doctor. Transcend can do this. But instead of that, Jack's Fit has bought his MK677 from who knows where. Is it legit? Does he know exactly what he is? Can he trust the source where he got it from? Well, maybe, but he really doesn't know. How much do I bench? Currently, I bench press 47.5 kg. I did in fact fail my 50 kg bench press at the Halloween PR party in Manchester. Yes, I did fail. And so considering he's been training for close to a year and his current bench press is 47.5 kilograms, that is an extremely poor bench press. It's not as if it's his first time in the gym. He's actually been training. Now, yes, he of course could have been training harder. Failure only makes you stronger. So we're going to come back even stronger and hit that 50 kg. I love this. Failure, it makes you even stronger. Well... Makes you stronger to come back to try to, you know, I guess, accomplish your goal. Very soon. I think I'll have that in the next two weeks. Maybe even next week because I'm getting really close. And then... And so he says, look, the road to 60 kilograms has been going on for months. Jack's fit has newbie gains. He's a teenager. and He has newbie gains? He never got any newbie gains. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, maybe... But the, I think he said in the video he gained 11 pounds or something. I'm really not sure. So that may be his newbie gains, yes. That's what you, you guys call it, newbie gains. In science, it's called myonuclear domain limit, okay? During that hypertrophic process, okay. So he needs to shoot for another adaptation. When you're a teenager, even if you train half-ass, you literally just show up and do warm-up lifts. You should be getting a heck of a lot stronger. But he hasn't been. If you don't have enough testosterone, your IGF-1 levels are too low. It's No, it has nothing to do with testosterone, IGF levels uh, low. If you get an adaptation, blood levels are elevated and... Uh, testosterone growth hormone are elevated too during the repair and the remodeling phase during that entire week until it's completely remodeled and, and repaired at the end of the week. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what Greg is talking about. If, but he, I don't see him getting any more adaptations. If he doesn't understand how to get it, it's not based on endurance lifting coming in frequently to the gym. It's based periodically, periodic lifting, not frequent bodybuilders we're really we're really into building our body so when we go to the gym we go with a goal in mind to get an adaptation our job is not to go there to be an endurance athlete or get good at lifting these weights we're not trying to get good at lifting them 
we will we will lift heavier eventually with time if we get bigger we get stronger when we get bigger we get stronger with every adaptation very difficult to put on muscle not to mention he has a very poor appetite he struggles to get in calories how many calories do i eat in a day so right now i'm on the winter arc the bulk has definitely been working um, i put on about 5 kg in the past i think it's been the bulk has been working so getting fat has been working so he gained some fat let's see he went from uh 10 body fat to 18 wow what an accomplishment uh okay what a waste of time a month now and so consider this he'd been trying to bulk for months he's in his winter arc he's locked in but yeah you know, funny thing greg even promotes this uh getting fat that's just another word for get fat bulk eat slave food and bulk on slave food slave food does not build muscles protein builds muscles animal animal products build muscles slave food they don't build muscles they'll build you artificial muscles they'll load glycogen in your muscle and make you fat they'll also contribute to this insulin resistance what he is insulin this what he is insulin resistant whatever so uh that is probably most likely one of the problems that he has and it's increasing it so but anyway yeah the getting fat is not building muscle he's claimed to have been on a i'll tell you why because his weight the amount he benches the amount he lifts has not gone up he said it, it's not going up and so it only goes up it, it'll either go up if you practice at doing it you adapt to lifting the heavy weight or it goes up if you get an adaptation and he seems to have gotten neither so there you go bulk for several months now and he hasn't gained any weight why do you think that is it's because he hasn't been able to consume those calories don't know if it's his fault we don't know why but in the last month he's added on five kilograms i do know why because he's not shooting for an adaptation in muscle damage that's it that's 11 pounds that's a lot he says he's consuming almost four thousand yeah if i eat uh, a bunch of oreo cookies and gain 11 pounds that's a lot because i eat lots and lots of oreo cookies right greg i bulked on oreo cookies thousand calories a day on low days three thousand now what has been the difference why does he need all these calories why doesn't he need a high nutrient diet uh greg high protein nutrient high nutrient diet in the last month he's added in mk677 now oh, okay. is that my first choice that i would have suggested he take absolutely not yeah. i would have suggested he try natural supplements for example turkesterone i love this natural supplements turkesterone is not I, man, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. I'm not even going to go there. And hungrier than last time. We literally sell a supplement. I think I know why he's doing these videos now. It's all marketing now to sell you these products. He'll convince you. He'll, he'll show this skinny guy called this whatever Jack Fit guy. And he'll say, look, you, you should be on TRT. But guess what? If you can't get it, we have these natural supplements that'll help you fake it as well you could fake it on these natural supplements or you could take steroids and fake it oh okay sure yeah exactly for this purpose to make you hungrier it's sure. instead of taking mk677 and so what it it's going to make you hungrier for what success or hungrier to eat more garbage slave food diet I'll make more sense to try to do it natural first or at least get in your blood work. Discover for yourself, is there something lacking, missing, that a doctor could then prescribe to you to make you feel better? Regardless of that, he's put on 11 pounds in a month. That is amazing. He was formerly diagnosably... 11 pounds in a couple of months. Okay. Underweight. I'm not going to say... What that an achievement name for that but it starts with an a and that's the most weight i put on in literally like one year of working out in the space of a month i put on that much weight. but you can see he didn't put on any muscle it's kind of obvious and muscle and muscle muscle mass and bone bone density they kind of go hand in hand somewhat yes
And so he's put on more weight in the last month than he has in over a year. And so it's working. It makes more sense in my mind to take performance enhancing drugs when you're literally frail, when you're so thin that it's negatively impacting your life in comparison to somebody who's already jacked. You're thinking, oh, he's already jacked and so he gets the pass. How does that make sense? Jack's fit would just like to look fit or at the very least to look average to look normal a lot of that is water weight i do take creatine so yeah oh i love this one a lot of that is water weight i do take creatine look kid you want to build muscle or you want to build some fake muscles creatine and build some water weight man this is des see this is what happens when people are desperate desperation calls for desperate measures about 62 maybe 63 kg and so his weight has climbed to guess how much between 62 and 64 kilograms depending on the time see i i could get this kid out of his dilemma i can teach him how to actually build muscle but you know nobody wants to watch my channel nobody cares what i have to offer even if it is real real based on even i have real proof i can prove well, i can prove everything i say with real science but nobody really cares and i don't care either <laughs> A day. He's on creatine, he's on MK677, and he's doing his best to lock in in his winter arc and put on more sun. And all he has to do is shoot for an adaptation, but no, he's on creatine, MK6477, and eating more slave food diet and everything because desperate times require desperate measures. And so before judging him for taking MK677, consider how would you feel if you were to trade places with him? You're in Jack Fitz's body. You are under 130 pounds. You've been... How would I feel? I'd look for somebody like me, a channel like mine, that actually can explain it with real science. Yes, yeah, so I don't have to go through the grueling uh, failure <laughs> over and over again, failing. And then coming online and complaining and saying, I'm going to take MK6477, and then that fails. And then the next step is to take steroids. And then when I stop taking the steroids, I go back to looking like Jack Fit. <laughs> Training for about a year, and you haven't put on any muscle. You can't even bench press 50 kilos. He didn't put on any muscle. Listen, that's because he's not shooting for adaptations. Uh, listen, once he stops the creatine, there goes the water weight. When he tops the MK677, there goes the glycogen and whatever else was loading in there. It's all gone, man. It, it's just, this is bullshit. You discover that if you take MK677, you're going to add a... Waste of time. This is where people waste their time. A lot of waste of time and waste of money, effort, and time. Jim, lifting slave. Five kilograms in a month. It's going to make you hungrier and you're going to start getting in more gains. Is that not going to be tempting? The people that get the pass. Remember, Chris Bumstead, essentially every IFBB pro in the... What do IFBB pros have to do with this kid? He's trying to get something that's natural. He wants to build up his body naturally. He's not performing on a stage artificially. It isn't based on an artificial sport, a fake sport. <laughs> Man, I think people are so convoluted. Real bodybuilding is not based on fake sports uh, called, called drugs, a drug sport. World is likely taking something. You know, what world does Greg live in? The drug world. And then he brings the drug world into the natural world. That They don't work. They don't work. And so are we going to shame Jack's fit for trying to take something to make him healthier? I'm going to argue that Jack's fit... No, he's taking it because now he's desperate. In his mind, he thinks it's going to magically build up his body these modulators or these drugs or whatever or this creatine when in fact it done absolutely nothing what he needs to do is get an adaptation so that the satellite cell can donate its nuclei to support further muscle growth so he can synthesize more protein without an addition of these nuclei he's never going to synthesize any protein on MK677 is healthier than Jack's Fit without it. Consider the doctors at Transcend literally prescribe me HRT. They're saying, based on your blood work, you need it. Does anyone think that I need performance enhancing drugs? He doesn't, he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. 
He just needs somebody to put him on the right path. That's it. More so than Jack Smith? Really, think about it. Which one of... Again, bodybuilding is not an endurance sport. It's not based on, on um, coming in consistently. It's based on lifting very periodically and then focusing on building your body once you get an adaptation. And with every adaptation, it gets harder and harder to get a new adaptation. Yes. It's astronomically difficult to build muscle. Thus, do you think is healthier? Who do you think is going to live longer? I'm telling you, when you're in the bottom 1% perhaps of the population in terms of size, strength, and so on, and you struggle to even eat enough calories in a day to put on any size, it's not healthy. And so if we're looking to improve his quantity and quality of life, should we not be willing to prescribe him something in order to make him better? The only thing wrong with... No. No, you shouldn't prescribe him anything. It's not going to make him better. It's going to destroy him. And look at the food he's eating here. It's kind of obvious. Coca-Cola, French fries, and probably fish and chips or something here. Some greasy stuff. These foods do not build muscle. They inhibit muscle growth. They're energy foods. That's what they are. They'll build our artificial sarcoplasmic muscles, I would guess, out of this garbage. See what I mean? Oh, brother. This is that he's doing this on his own. He should be seeking out a medical professional. And so if you're interested... No, he should be seeking out somebody like myself online that actually knows what they're talking about. Unlike you, Greg. You're fake. Fake in getting your blood work taken please click the link in the description you can get your blood work taken with transcend a medical doctor oh brother will review it and decide exactly what you should be taking in order to optimize your health what else oh my sleep has been insane i've been sleeping like a baby i mean once i'm in that bed it's night time i mean uh yeah sleeping is a good thing yes definitely but what good is that if you don't have an adaptation, there's nothing to grow. Not only that, Jack Fitz says he's also improved his sleep. The quality of sleep, he's getting more restful sleep. As soon as he goes to bed, he sleeps better. Now, is it possible that Jack Fitz was not... Yeah, so and what? He goes to sleep and what about it? The kid's over six feet tall. He's pretty tall, right? Six feet or something. I don't know. So, I, I, just, I don't... Yeah. I wouldn't listen to Greg. Not consuming enough calories and it was keeping him up at night that he couldn't sleep because his body was undernourished absolutely but since adding in him should be eating more animal products and animal animal high animal fat animal products yeah a677 does it not seem that his life has gotten better and so let's compare i would recommend a lot of raw raw milk in his case raw milk if he can get it wherever he is i don't know where what cut where what state, where he is, it seems like England or something, I don't know. Um, if he could get it, that would be a good thing. And eat a lot of sushi. Raw, raw fish is amazing for you. And uh, if he could eat raw meat, yeah, raw tatar, raw meat, whatever. Or if he has to, cook it, but uh, don't cook it too much. Try to keep it as rare as possible. Yeah. And eat a lot of animal fat. That's all I can recommend. Alex Eubank to Jack's Fit. Who do you think more so needed some intervention? Jack Fit clearly was unhealthy. Clearly. Alex Eubank in comparison, he was already healthy. Look at the guy. Does he look like he's suffering? And so based on what I've seen, despite the fact that he should have got it from a doctor, I am behind him in that regard. Let me know in the comment section. Do you agree with Jack's Fit taking MK677? Do you think he should have just continued? No, I must my opinion. Absolutely not. He doesn't need it. It's a waste of time. Continued on while taking nothing. And if you are... You're just wasting your money on these things. They're just a waste of time. And even eating the sleeve diet's a waste of time. Just everything. His And his routine, going to the gym, the way he's going, is a waste of time. Back against him taking performance enhancing drugs, who are you in favor of? Who should, for example, be given HRT? Would you not want to see his blood work? The less you come to the gym... The more chances you have are of building of getting these adaptations and getting bigger and stronger so he has something to grow and if he would stop eating the slave food diet and eat natural food 
he'd have even more chances of building up his body to a normal physique. And he'd look much better too. Face, facial wise, he'd look better eating a natural diet and physically he'll look better. Yeah. Does anyone think his testosterone levels are optimal? That Jack's Fit is operating at 800 nanograms per deciliter? Or does it not look like it would have been severely impaired? And so my message is sometimes it does in fact make sense to be prescribed HRT. When a person needs it, my opinion... No, no. He doesn't need it. This is ridiculous. Greg is not a doctor. I don't know how he can prescribe medicine dr illegal drugs to somebody right online and he's not a doctor and and youtube allows this allows him to do this this is crazy he's prescribing he says i prescribe he take these drugs this is crazy how can he do this he's not a doctor a licensed doctor he's giving advice to this kid i this is i don't know this is really so youtube has become really strange that you could promote these these illegal drugs. I don't know. I guess YouTube's uh, gung-ho for that. Maybe I should do a channel like uh, Greg and promote all these fake things too. <laughs> Maybe I'll be more successful instead of doing slave slave uh, slave uh, slave uh, videos. Yeah. The fact that he is this thin, that it can in fact his quality and quantity of life, that he is an excellent candidate for using performance enhancing drugs. Normally I wouldn't suggest a team. He's an excellent candidate for using drugs to destroy him, his health. Oh, yeah. Okay, Greg. Yeah, great. Wow, this is really nice. Yes. You know, people, you know, uh, wow, they're like so against all of this stuff, yet Greg promotes drugs and he promotes that these young people take drugs too because they're candidates for drugs yes major to take terkestrone or any supplements whatsoever but in jack yes as well as fake supplements but in jack's case he has to do what Jack Smith's case if there's something that he can take to improve his appetite to allow him to train harder than last time well i'm all for it and so anyone else if you're interested in turkestrone geo 2 max protein bars delta sleep the list goes on and on he doesn't have to do anything he just has to eat a natural diet just eat a natural diet that is really the one of the main his main problem eat a natural animal diet that's it stop eating these fake slave food diets these fake foods Fake engineered man-made foods. That includes vegetables, apples, and whatever. And uh, that's what probably is his cause is. And I would say if he wanted to lift, lift periodically. Do not lift cons consistently. That's it. That's my advice. Click the link in the description. Code Greg, 15% off. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Please like this video if you like. Yes. Anyways, tell me what you think about that, friends. Like, subscribe, support the channel. Do you think that that guy should take the advice of Greg Doucette or my advice? Which one do you think is much more reasonable and better? See you in the next one. Ciao, friends.